Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, T. Marie, and if you're new, welcome. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So today's video is going to be all about the versatility and some of my favorite hairstyles using these balayage clip-ins from Curls Queen. So stay tuned for the full tutorial. get into the unboxing. So Curls Queen sent me a full set of clip-in hair extensions and I love how this is packaged. It's so cute and pink is my favorite color. Like how cute is this brush y'all? Like I really needed this. It also came with additional clips just in case if you happen to lose one or need to replace it. I really like this mesh bag. I'm definitely using this for storage. It came with a bonnet, like, hello, like, I love a good bonnet. I love the adjustability and that I can reverse it. And dun dun dun, dun the clip-ins. Let's get into it. So this is a full set of clip-ins. It comes with 10 total pieces. This is the Balayage Light Yaki in 18 inches. I love how thick the hair is from root to tip. And also look at the clips. I love the fact that they are brown and match the hair. Love it. Absolutely love this hair. Now let's get into the tutorial. So the first hairstyle that I'm going to do is a high ponytail. Now this ponytail is going to be super versatile. It's going to be super flat and sleek. I'm gonna start off by detangling and just combing down my hair. And by the way, I am really loving this brush. <laughs> like, If only you guys knew. So I'm gonna take a piece of my hair and put it in a ponytail. This is where I want my ponytail to be. So I'm going to tuck this hair away and then I'm going to start using my clip-ins and I am going to clip them in a circular motion right around that ponytail. Now for a nice full look, you're going to wanna do some clip-ins around the back part of the pony and then clip-ins around the front part of the pony. And then another key thing that you wanna keep in mind is that you wanna keep your leave out hair to a minimum because you don't wanna see that distinction between where your hair ends and where the clip-ins kind of um, go past it. So now I'm taking some more of my natural hair and I'm covering up the clip-ins. I'm gonna do that around the entire perimeter so I'm making another circle. And then I'm gonna repeat the same steps and add the clip-ins in a circular motion around this new ponytail. Now I'm going back in to create an additional layer. This is gonna be the final layer. So I'm gonna just take my natural hair again and cover up those clip-ins, make a new ponytail, and then we're gonna add more clip-ins in a circular motion around this new ponytail. So now I am going to comb my leave out and for my ponytail, go ahead and put my ponytail holder on it. You can lay your edges down, whatever you want to do. But I think this makes such a cute, sleek, high pony. Like you can't even tell that they're clip-ins for one. And it's just so versatile, like so cute, so full, so luscious. I absolutely love this hair like nobody's business, okay? <laughs> Now using the same ponytail, we're going to do a high bun. I'm going to do a two strand twist and then twist it around the ponytail to make a really cute bun. Okay. 
So yes, super sleek, seamless. You can't see the clip-ins. You can't even tell that they're clip-ins. Okay, like how cute is this bun right now? Y'all, I am so excited. So our next hairstyle is going to be wearing them down with a side part. If you've seen some of my other clip-in videos, you should know by now how I install my clip-ins. Um, basically just parting out a section of my hair, adding a clip-in, and repeating that process until I get to the front. If you're liking this video so far don't forget to give it a thumbs up and make sure to comment like and subscribe and also if you are really liking this hair as much as i am your girl has a discount code for you yes save your coins girl i'm gonna put the discount code on the screen and it's also going to be in the description box Okay, y'all, so I am at the front part of my hair, so I'm going to start to kind of carve out how I want this middle part to look. I definitely want to go for kind of like in my face, so I'm going to start laying these clip-ins um, kind of in a slanted direction as I get closer and closer up to the front of my hair. So this piece that I'm parting out is going to cover all of my clip-ins in the back and then I am going to do one last like diagonal part and I'm going to put a clip-in right there. This to kind of help it fall into my face the way that I want it to. And then we are going to comb it out. One thing that I love about this hair is just how really soft and manageable it is. Like this is top quality hair. So this is how the hair looks with all of the clip-ins installed with the side part. I am really loving this. So now it's time to style it. We're gonna put this hair to the test and do some wand curls. I'm using my one inch wand curl and we're gonna put some luscious like beach waves in this hair and let's see how it goes. If you're new to my channel, you might be wondering like, what is this like ponytail section going on? So girl, let me tell you, I like to curl the front part of my hair last. It's just a preference, just something that I like to do. I don't know why, but you know, if you're a loyal subscriber, then you already know, sis. these curls came out this hair holds curls like no other okay like I love this I did not use any hairsprays or products and let me tell you like these curls are here to stay the next style we're gonna do is a middle part so what I'm going to do is remove two of the clip-ins from the front of my hair and just kind of rearrange my parting space and then add the clip-ins back the way that I want it to fall
So now that I have the clip-ins laid the way that I want, I wanna just refresh the curls right in the front of my hair by my face. So I'm gonna do that really quick and see how this middle part turns out. So I think it turned out really good, you guys. I really like this hair and I absolutely love clip-ins. There are so many hairstyles that you can do with them that makes them so versatile. So let me know down below in the comments section which hairstyle was your favorite. Personally, mine was the high pony and the side part. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're liking this content. And I will see you guys in my next video.